everybody, it's your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Black Ink Crew Compton. This is season one, episode five, The Naked Truth. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. I also want to remind you guys um, to shop Andrea's clothing. I will leave the link down in my description box below. Shop um, the clothing using my coupon code Auntie Mo fitting and you will get 15% off. Again, I will leave the information down in my description box below. Also, the intro music that you heard is my baby cousin Cole Beasy. That's um, the name of the song is Run It Up. Go to SoundCloud right now because Auntie said so. Get with that, okay? That's my family. That's K-O-B-E-A-Z-Y. I will leave the info um, down below in my description box as well. I'm so proud of my Kim folk. See out here killing the shit. Go check it out. Um, but y'all, yeah, this episode of Black King Crew Compton, um, it was giving us whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let's just get into this review because I can explain it in the review before I break it down like this anyway. So, hopefully y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So, before we get into it, I want to let y'all know I'm drinking on just a little CNS. You know what I'm saying? A little Ciroc and soda. You know what I'm saying? Wetting the pan a little bit, doing a little sunshine. Okay. So, it starts off, everybody in the shop, they sitting there chilling or whatever. KP and Tim walk in. And they speaking to everybody, they speak to everybody but Nessie. Now, y'all know, on the end of the last episode, Nessie was sticking up for Lemire. So, of course, Tim and KP still in their bag about that whole situation. You know what I'm saying? They, they mad. They super mad. They big mad. You didn't think of capes. You know what I'm saying? They all mad. So, Nessie like, oh, really? Y'all ain't gonna speak to me? They're like, man, I don't know what to say to you right now. We still mad. But just, just. Y'all, I just don't, you know, KP is okay to me, but on, on real spit, I don't like Tim. So everything that Tim does just, oh, it irks my spirit. It irks everything in me that Tim does. And I'm sorry, I don't like to be like that about people. But Tim just got this, Tim Taddy, Tim Taddy, that's right, that is his name, Tim Taddy. Because he is an exact replica of how Teddy was to Caesar on Black Ink Crew. Everything Teddy, Caesar said yes to, Teddy gonna say. He's like the yes man. He was just all up here with it. The whole dog on time. So like I said, he's mad cause KP mad, you know what I'm saying? And they both mad at Nessie. Nessie's like, I don't give a damn about y'all being mad at me. Whatever, you ain't gotta speak to me. I don't give a damn, hello, I'm still here. So KP called himself mad, right? He's like, you know what? Matter of fact, Lemire doing all this, do 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 yada yada. Lana, you go ahead and you can take his booth. Now everybody was looking like, what? I'm like, how you just gonna get this guy? Not even Voodoo. And of course now we see. I feel like he's doing that on purpose. I feel like he's doing that on purpose, cause you know this girl Voodoo got all this doggone potential. You just got home, girl in the shop. Uh, Alana, Tetherball. You just got her up in there, and you, like, really, KP? How, why, why? Everybody looking at him like, no, what is you doing? But, of course, Tim Teddy is going to be right there agreeing on everything that he says, and Ink Drippin' agrees behind everything that Tim says. So, it's like, the dog snipped the dog ass and snipped the dog ass. They just all up. And it's, it's just crazy. Anyways, Tim says that he's hooked up a photo shoot for the shop. He wants to do a big billboard so that everybody in the neighborhood would know about I Am Compton and come in and get them some tattoos and stuff like that. Hopefully, this is something that'll really work for the community like they really want it to be. Because right now, it don't seem like they're doing a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know what I'm saying? It's only, what, a week into the shop being open? We're going to hold out on faith for that. So, Nessie, Voodoo Doll, and Barbie, they go have some drinks, some girl talk, dinner, whatever. And they just, you know, just sitting back talking, shooting shit. So, Barbie tells Nessie, like, I know that um, Lemire's your homeboy, but at this point, you're going to have to let that crap go. Because, obviously, you see that um, KP is on the rampage. And just like he gave up Lemire's spot, he can give up your spot, too. So, I'm just letting you know, you need to go ahead, chill. Stay in your place. Don't be 
back and forth with him on that because that ain't finna be good for nobody. Nessie tells them that her mom and her sister are coming to visit. She's excited to show them the shop and everything. The life that she's built in the last, you know, six years that she's been living in Compton. She says that her family has never come out there to visit. That her mother didn't want to come because, you know, her mother wasn't all the way supportive of her tattooing. But, you know, mama's going to come to support her. She's excited about that. whoop de whoop They start talking about... Sex set at, I mean, it was, it wasn't a whole lot going on with that child. Moving on from that. So Danielle is on bed rest. She is apparently been working herself too doggone hard, stressing over nothing. Like I'm stressing over my doggone washer going loud as hell right now. I need to be on bed rest from that because it's getting my damn nerves. But, um, she's, you know, she's crying. She's upset. Lemire is there to console her. He's feeling bad because he's felt like, he feels like he's been putting a lot of pressure on her to do a lot of work with Happy Eyes. And they just got a whole lot going on with their whole situation. But at the end of the day, I'm still not feeling Danielle. I feel bad for that situation. I really, really do. I don't wish that on nobody what they're going through. I know that's got to be stressful as hell. But, Danielle, it's just the things that you do to my spirit that just be like, I can't feel all the way. I mean, I feel bad, bad for you. I do. But just you as a person, girl. Anyways, KP and Tim is at the studio because now we get to see KP rapping. Okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Um, that <laughs> my mama say if you ain't got nothing nice to say about something, those ain't nothing at all. Of course, Tim is still there, like a little gnat, all up in his ear, telling him, man, I don't trust that fool Lemir, you know what I'm saying? Lemir was out here tripping, and he ain't even from the city. He think he could just come loke up like that? Dog, he don't know. Tim, set your ass down somewhere. What do you do? Stop it, Mo. Don't be like that. Mm. Y'all, so they back at the shop. They all sitting around BSing. Um, doggone at the dinner, I forgot to mention that. When they went out to dinner, when they was talking about sex, whatever, Nancy talking about she don't give head. So, <laughs> they at the shop, Voodoo Dog got a whole banana trying to show this girl what to do. Alana's getting ready for a client that she has to come in, and she has coming in, right? So, her client end, ends up coming in. Now, first thing, I was like, she coming in with her baby? You bringing your baby into a tattoo shop and you finna get a tattoo? Who gonna watch your baby? What tattoo was you getting? How long is it gonna take to get a tattoo? Cause she was little. She she wasn't walking. She wasn't no baby baby, but she wasn't walking. She could push in in the stroller. And I damn sure hope you ain't think she finna be running around this doggone shop with needles and all that. Now hell no. So Alana waits till her client gets there to start hooking all of her, imp her um, equipment up Lo and behold, her power cord ain't working. Well, she's trying to get it to work. She asked Ink to come over and help her. Ink with his old petty ass, well, the only other person that got a machine like this is a Voodoo Doll. You might want to ask Voodoo Doll. No, she didn't want to do that. So she goes over and asks Voodoo Doll. Voodoo like, yeah, no, you cannot use my power cord. She was like, really? Um, you're going to turn a uh, client away because you want to be petty? I would have done the same damn thing. Bitch, you an artist. You should have had your stuff already together. You should have already been falling in line in formation to do what you had to do. No, and especially as cocky as she came in there, no. You get your own damn power cord. So she ended up telling the um, customer that, you know, she gonna have to reschedule her to another day because, you know, her stuff wasn't working. Whoop, whoop. Now, the customer did not look, she, you could tell she was pissed. I don't know if she was acting or what. But again, it brings me back to my first question. You, who was going to watch your baby anyway? Girl! Y'all, so back at the shop, they getting bulletproof glass put in. What? Is, is this a bank? What? But hey, to live in Dinelli. They need that. They need that because they, they hood out there for real, for real. So they're getting bulletproof glass put up in the shop or whatever, right? Alana got a customer that's supposed to be coming in in a little bit. But she's sitting down with Ink Drippin' and Tim. Of course, she starts going in talking about voodoo. This half are going to say, look what I found when I Googled voodoo last night. Ink Drippin' was like, oh, you Googled the girl? Like, why would you do that? She Googled her, ends up finding out that she's a cam girl. Meaning, you know, she takes new pictures and photos and she sells them, whoop-de-whoop, -de -whoop, yada, yada, yada. Now, she's getting pure joy 
out of exposing her to these other to these men that work in the shop. She's like laughing, showing like, look, she sells her coochie for ten dollars a month. Whoop de whoop. Now, Tim, Tim is just Tim Teddy don't count. He don't count. He was being an ass, but he don't count anyway. Now, Ink Dripping was like, I knew she was a freak, but I didn't know she was that kind of freak. But at the same time, he was like, I mean, she grown. She can she can do what she want to do. I didn't like that because she she enjoyed exposing that girl like that. And I didn't like that for one dog on minute. I thought that was crooked as hell. I thought that was wrong as hell. I thought that was rude as hell. I thought that was hating as hell. If you... Like, she did that on purpose. Like, she purposely Googled her to see what she could find out on her. I didn't like that. That was a whole-ass move. I did not like that. So, Lemire goes by KP's mom's house. He ended up calling the shop because he was trying to get in contact with KP, of course, so he could apologize. But they told him he's over at um, his mom's house. So anyway, so go to KP mom's house, call KP on the phone, and like, look, I'm outside. Can you come outside and talk to me? Now, at first, KP was walking out like, man the hell is you doing over here? I thought we got rid of your ass at the shop. What you doing over here, man? Lemire's like, look, I had a lot going on. I just want to be a man and come and admit that I'm wrong. And I just want to apologize. I've just had a lot going on. Now, first, like I said, KP wasn't with it. He was like, I don't think I can let you come back to the shop. That shit you done pulled, uh, no, we can't have that. But Lemire tells him, look here, you know, I'm stressed out because, you know, all this, I've got to deal with everything with, you know, happy eyes. On top of Danielle, you know, this is what's going on. He finally lets him know what's going on with his unborn child, which you needed to do that so that they would know why you're so stressed out and why you snap and they could understand you a lot more. Because after he told KP that, KP was like, man, you could have came and told me that. I got three kids, my dog on self, so I know what it's like to be stressed out and having to take care of your kids. So he ends up telling him that, and they dap it out, it's all good, and Lemire's free to come back to the shop. Now, of course he was gonna come back to the shop. He in a contract. That is his contractual duties to get his ass up in that shop. But it was cute though. I like the way they did that to try to make it seem like it, boy, it was cute. Y'all, so back at the shop, everybody's sitting around chilling. They look at Alana Station and it's filthy nasty. Probably like her house. She all pretty and beautiful on the outside, but her house probably fit filthy dirty. That says a lot about a person. I'm sorry, but it does. Your work environment, how you are at work, whether your place is your, it's clean, it's sloppy, nasty, your car and your work area say a whole lot about you. I'm just saying. So, they see her area, it's all nasty, dirty, and filthy. Voodoo goes over there and cleans it up in a way so she can be petty and throw it back in her face which we all know she was going to do any doggone way. Well, Tim ends up coming in, Tim Teddy. He ends up coming in. He's all somber and sad. they like, what's going on? He said two of the homies got shot at the barber shop. You know how it is to live and die in L.A. every day. You know what I'm saying? Again, I don't like Tim Teddy, man. I can feel bad for him, but I can't feel bad, bad for him. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I don't like Tim Teddy. You know, R.I.P. to his homies that died or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Prayers over the ones that's probably still healing. But what I did like is Ink Drippin' came over there and he prayed over him. He did some real nigga shit. He came over there, laid his hands on that man and prayed over him. I appreciate that. I don't know if it was just for the cameras. But I appreciate that all the same. All right, y'all. So it's the day of the photo shoot. Everybody's there. They having a good time. Nessie on some little cart thing. Ink dripping, pushing her around. She twerking on the cart. It was cute. Like, everybody was having fun. Like, they was having a real good time. Of course, Tim Teddy sitting over there in the corner all summer. I don't care. I don't care. Next thing you know, Lemire walks in. Everybody like, oh, Lemire, man, what? He goes around dapping up everybody. He gets around to Tim Teddy. Tim Teddy like, nah, man, I ain't with all that, man. I don't forgive you for none of that. He like, oh, for real? Word? All right, cool. Hey, what's going on? Hug everybody. The same thing I would have done. So, KP has to go pull Tim Teddy to the side like a little female. Let him know, look here, boo, it's going to be okay. I done forgave Lemire so you can forgive him too. So you don't have to be mad, boo, boo, all right? You're going to be good. So, Tim Teddy's like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep my good eye on this motherfucker just in case it go down. KP like, all right, boo, boo. Calm down, boo, boo. Calm down. 
Nessie invited her mom and her sister to the photo shoot. So they show up, her mom and her sister, beautiful, real pretty girls. So they come to the photo shoot. Everybody's, you know, doing their pictures, whoop de whoop doing their thing. Voodoo pulls KP to the side. And I thought that was kind of weird. Y'all was right in the middle of a photo shoot. She pulls him to the side. It's like, look here, um, it was some things I want to let you know about Alana. Her station was nasty. She filthy, blue, 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 blue. And KP was like, oh, really? Word? Next thing you know, Alana comes walking up. She's like, what? Are you talking about me? Like, here I go. And she was like, yeah, I'm talking about you. And what? This heifer, Alana said, well, what about this? This heifer done printed out pictures, her new photos from her cam girl photos um, website. Who does that? printed out at least 50, 60 copies and like throwing all the paper in her face. Now, KP, Barbie, Nessie, Lemire, all of them were like, girl, so what? This woman is grown. She's proud of her body. She can do what she want to do. Like, so what? What is you upset of? What is you hating on her like that? Then Barbie checked her ass and I was glad good for you barbie that made me like you 10 more points she was like look here if you really wanted to show her up you could have came in here shut the hell up tattoo improved yourself but you didn't do that you don't went and you didn't did some messy crap so can't nobody trust you we was trying to give you a little leeway trying to get to know you trying to get a gee ass chance but you done messed that up because you don't want to get some homegirl like that so now don't none of them really want to mess with her baby voodoo got mad and left out of there she came back Naked as the day she was born with duct tape over her cootie cat strutting in that doggone photo shoot. She was like, um, I heard she was looking for me. Here I go. <laughs> Cookie Monster Challenge. <laughs> she let it all hang out. And I ain't gonna lie, I was proud of her. I was proud of her because she owned that. She didn't let that girl tear her down like that. She went and threw it back up in her face and it made Alana look dumb as hell. Because Alana ended up having egg on her face and she walked out mad because she didn't get the response out of Voodoo and everybody else that she thought she was going to get. So let that be something that marinate in your head for a while, okay? And on that note, that was the end of the episode. If y'all watched it and I missed anything, please comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.